Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of PHT TV, and welcome back to another What's in the Box. So far we have disassembled the Heresy 4s, we've disassembled the Forte 4s, we've disassembled the Cornwall 4s, and shown you the side of those speakers that nobody typically gets to see. We've also lined them up and shown you those components side by side to see how they stack up and how they compare to each other, and also show you what's similar between the units. Today we're going to do the exact same with the La Scala AL5. We're going to disassemble it, we're going to take out all the drive components, and we are going to show you what it looks like inside of the box. I'm also going to do my best to try and show you how the crossover network connects to the high frequency, mid frequency, and the low frequency drivers. And then we're going to take out all the drive components and stack them next to the Cornwall Heresy Forte drive components and see how they compare, see how they are different, and how they are alike. So without further delay, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the high frequency driver. Now these do use wood screws as opposed to nuts and bolts on a high frequency driver. So if you do ever need to disassemble it, make sure that you use a screwdriver as opposed to a drill, as you could strip out the holes when putting the screws back in if you use a drill. Here we have the K771 high frequency driver of the La Scala AL5. Let's set this guy off to the side. Now, the high frequency driver, you disassemble from the front. The mid-range horn, you actually disassemble from the back. So I'm gonna flip this unit around and we'll get started on that back panel as well. All right, so right now I'm using the low frequency driver as kind of a stand so you guys can see it better. Obviously, you're not gonna listen to it this way. It would sound a little bit muffled, probably. All right, so when disassembling the rear of the unit, in order to get out the mid-range driver, we actually have to pull off this back panel. In order to pull off the back panel, we have to pull off the input cup. So let's start with the input cup here. Input cup uses a T20 driver. All right, here we have our input cup. I'm actually, instead of disconnecting it, I'm gonna send it back through to the side of the unit for now. And then let's take off this back here. These are Phillips head screws. And as you can see, these are bolts as opposed to wood screws. I'll pull off this back panel here. And to remove the K55X, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your terminals here. And then actually unscrew it from the horn. And here is your K55X mid-range driver. And now that we have our driver out, I'm gonna take out the horn. And the reason we take off the driver before we take off the horn is because the weight of that horn is gonna pull against the cabinet, so you don't wanna do that. Here we have the horn on the La Scala AL5. Long throat, an exponential horn. It's just massive, massive. Goes all the way to the rear of the cabinet. Set it off the side and we'll get a closer look at it here in a little bit. Before we go on to the low frequency driver, I'm actually gonna show you what the internals here and show you the crossover network first because 
it's in this high frequency cabinet. So now feels like the opportune time to do so. Here's your input cup. Typically this is mounted right here. When you put in your high frequency input, it comes here, goes around, and here is your high frequency input on your crossover network. There's your high frequency input on your crossover network. From there, you can see that this is the high frequency driver that comes out and goes to the front of the cabinet there because it connects into the back of the high frequency driver up front. Grab a focus there. Then from here, we have our mid-range driver. Mid-range driver travels over here and right here to our K55X and plugs in right in the back of the unit there. Our low frequency input comes in right here, travels along and enters into the crossover network here. Then it comes out of the crossover network and there's a very short cable that just goes straight down. So this one is disconnected right now and I will show you why here in just a moment. And that is the inside of the high frequency cabinet of our La Scala AL5. All right, now I'm gonna take the high frequency cabinet and put it off to the side here. So as you guys know, the high frequency and low frequency are separate. From the crossover network, it actually drops through the cabinet and connects to the low frequency right here. And for those of you that haven't seen a La Scala close up, here we have the inside of the cabinet. So it is a folded horn. And as you can see, we don't see a low frequency driver in here. To get to the low frequency driver, we actually have an access panel on the bottom. So I'm gonna flip this back this way. So I'm again gonna grab my Phillips head screwdriver. Now you'll notice that I rolled it on its back so that the front of the cabinet is facing upwards. And the reason for that is because when we unscrew this unit, you'll see that the driver is actually facing downwards when it's sitting in this position, which will give us access to dismount it from the cabinet. The driver actually faces downwards or in its upright position faces backwards to aim at the back of the cabinet before it hits those folds. For those of you that have never heard a La Scala before or never heard a K-horn, it is a completely different monster when it comes to those low frequencies due to the folded horn of the low frequency cabinet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this back in just a tad and then use it to kind of get a lip of that out. I can remove this bottom panel. Here's the bottom panel for the low frequency driver of the La Scala. The foam in here is wrapped all the way around this, this side and then it's wrapped all the way around that side to completely enclose the low frequency driver here. Now it's going to be a little difficult for me to show you unscrewing of these units, but what I can show you, this is what it looks like inside the cabinet. If this driver were upright, it would be facing towards the back of the cabinet. This is the back of our cabinet. And then it goes towards the back of the cabinet, wraps around and goes to those folds there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set the camera up so you can kind of see it here. And let's take out this low frequency driver. Typically when this is actually assembled as opposed to disassembled, this entire portion of the cabinet is separate. And I'm gonna show you a little piece of Klipsch's video of this here as well. All right, and now before we take out the low frequency driver completely, move around back here. And this top input cup uses a T20 Torx bit as well. And these are just wood screws in here. All right, so here's the low frequency cabinet input cup. It's got a low frequency cabinet input cup. And now that it's been removed, I can send these wires in through the cabinet. 
Then we'll come back around. And now with that removed, we can remove our K33E. And here we have our K33E 15 inch low frequency driver of the La Scala AL5. I'm gonna set this off to the side here. All right. This is the inside of the low frequency cabinet, at least what we can see. So that hole in the back is where the input cup was. And down here is the slot where the low frequency driver aims. This is where the low frequency driver did sit. All right, so here is a shot of all our drive components side by side, going from left to right, smallest to biggest. We've got Heresy on the left, Forte second, Cornwall third, and La Scala drive components fourth. Here are all of our high frequency drivers. The Heresy, the Forte, and the Cornwall all use the K107TI. The La Scala uses the K771. Turn these two side by side so you can kind of see the difference. Taking a look at our mid-range drivers, you can see that the Heresy, the Forte, and the Cornwall all use the same K702 mid-range driver. In the Scala, we get into the K55X mid-range driver. And drivers aside, take a look at the difference in the horns. So on the left we have our Heresy horn, our Forte horn, our Cornwall horn, and then finally our La Scala horn. And just to give you an idea side by side, backing out there's the difference in the horns there as well. Next up we have our low frequency driver. The Heresy, if you remember, uses the K28E 12 inch driver. If you bump up to the Fortes, you have the K281 12 inch driver. So they're both 12 inch drivers, but the Forte one is a bit beefier. Then you move over here and compare your Forte to your Cornwall. You move from your K281 12 inch driver to the K33E 15 inch driver in the Cornwalls, which is actually identical to the K33E 15 inch driver used in the La Scala's. And then moving on to our additional low frequency components, we do have our ported design of the Heresy, which is the same port used in the Cornwall 4, but in the Cornwall 4 it's used three times. So there's three of these exact same ports used in the Cornwall 4. Here we have our passive radiator of the Forte 4. And then the final low frequency item in the La Scala is actually the low frequency cabinet with the folded horn assembly, which is actually what makes the La Scala, essentially the La Scala it makes it what it is. So the final low frequency component in the Scala is the cabinet itself, the low frequency cabinet. All right, I think that's gonna be about all we have for you today, guys. Here we have our Heresy 4, our Forte 4, our Cornwall 4, and our La Scala AL5 components all out of their boxes. Hopefully this has been informative to you guys and saves you from having to do it yourself if you're curious to see what's inside there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna to get to the K horns just yet because I don't have one here in my studio, but we will get to taking that guy apart as soon as possible. For now, I'm gonna put all of these speakers back together so we can finally get to those RF7 versus Heritage speaker line compares that you guys have been asking for for a long time now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. I don't know how you get so dirty when you live inside of a box. <sighs> Did I put these away this dirty? I don't remember putting these away this dirty.